Hey guys, this is Mac4TW. I'm going to be showing you how to keep files safe in OS X. Now, OS X has an option. It's called File Vault. Let me find that for you here under Security. Um, what this does is it just encodes everything on your hard drive to where if you don't have a password, you can't access it. But this slows reads and writes usually because it has to read an encoded file and write an encoded file when you want to do that. So unless you really need stuff to be everything to be protected, you don't need to use this and your computer won't be will be faster if you don't use it. But what if you have a file you really need to protect or a couple files? Let's make a file here I have to protect. Let's make a password. Um, Visa is going to be... there we go, with that. We'll save that here to the desktop. Password secret. Okay secret, whatever. Anyway, we need to protect that. Now, how can we do that? There's no option here. Set it up. Very simple. Open up Disk Utility. Let's gather disk information. There we go. Make sure nothing is selected here. See, that's selected. Nothing selected. And you hit New Image. Now here, you can name this secret. Okay, it's going to be a disk image. You can name that secret. The volume name. However big you need it. If it's just a couple text files, 10 megs to do the trick, I'll just leave it around 100. It sounds good. Mac OS X 10 Journal is fine. If you want to be readable in Windows as well, you can use one of these two. But in my case, I just use Mac, so that works. And here under encryption. Now, 128-bit is somewhat safe, but... If you're storing something you really want to keep away from people, go for 256-bit. It's a lot slower to, to make the, the image, but it's practically impossible to crack. So single partition is fine for what we need, and make sure it's read-write. Now just hit Create, and wait a little bit while it creates it. Like I said, this isn't exactly fast to create. Okay, it's going to ask for a password, so let's make it 123 here. Obviously, you want a more secure password. Make sure you uncheck Remember Password, because otherwise your computer will always open the file. Hit OK, and now it's going to create it. There you go. Okay. All right, that's done. It's right here. Let's eject that. Okay, here's your secret file. Now when you double-click this, it'll ask for a password. We enter that. It's 123 where we made it. Hit Enter. It'll mount it. So now you can put your secret file in here. Delete it from your desktop, obviously. You don't want people accessing that. Empty your trash. And eject this image. Now, nobody can access the file unless you give them the password. One, two, three. And here's your file. Pretty straightforward and easy to do. Pretty useful, too, if you want to keep stuff away from people. Anyway, be creative. You can make these images as big as you want. If you have a one terabyte hard drive, want to keep everything encoded, go for it. It'll take a lot longer to make the image, but once it's made, it acts pretty fast. Alright, I hope this was useful for you guys. Let me know what you think.